I have the Nothing Phone 3A, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock the bootloader of this phone. This guide should also work with just about every Nothing Phone on the market right now, since they don't really care about unlocking the bootloader and gaining root access to their devices. So there's no need to worry about losing your warranty or getting your support request refused just because you have an unlocked bootloader. Before we can begin though, there are a number of things that we have to set up ahead of time. For example, you're gonna to need to enable developer mode so that you can tap on the OEM unlock toggle right here. This is tucked away within the hidden developer options menu. And we enable developer mode by tapping on the build number entry within the settings app around seven to 10 times. But if you're not familiar with this process, then be sure to check the video description below as I'll have a dedicated guide link there that will walk you through the entire process. I'll even toss that link in the pinned comment here as well so that it's easy for everyone to find. Once you have confirmed that you want this toggle enabled and you see it enabled, then you'll need to install ADB and Fastboot tools on your PC. A computer is required here. Either a laptop or a desktop is fine, but you need an external PC in order to execute the required Fastboot commands. I also have a guide here on the channel showing how to install these files properly. So I'll have that link down below as well. And the last thing that I want to mention here is that unlocking the bootloader will erase everything on your Nothing Phone 3A. And I mean everything. It will be as if the phone had been factory data reset and that you had just pulled it out of the box for the first time. There's no way around this. It is a security measure. So be sure to back up all of your important data ahead of time if you really want to unlock the bootloader. Once you have that OEM unlock toggle enabled, you'll then need to reboot the smartphone into fastboot mode. And the easiest way that this is done is bring up the power menu, restart the phone, and then immediately begin pressing and holding the volume down button as soon as you see that screen go dark. And you want to continue holding this button down until you get to a screen like this. You can confirm that you are in fastboot mode by this red message here. And now you'll want to connect the phone to the PC with a USB cable. You can see here, this is where my platform tools folder is located. I have my ADB and fastboot exe file in this folder. And you're gonna to need to open up a command prompt, a terminal window, or a Windows PowerShell within the same folder as your ADB and Fastboot files. The easiest way I have found is if you right click around here, you should see an open in terminal message there. However, you can also press and hold the shift button on the keyboard and then right click on an empty spot anywhere in the folder and you should get a open in terminal or open PowerShell window here. And it doesn't matter which one you pick. Now it's gonna be a good idea to run the fastboot space devices command from this same folder. And you want to check to make sure you have a successful connection from your PC to the phone. So we press enter and you want to make sure you get a response here with your serial number and then the word fastboot. If you don't get a response showing your serial number, then you need to install proper USB drivers for nothing phones. You'll know this is required if you get no response from this command, or if you see the waiting for any device message. I had this before, and I needed to install Google USB drivers exactly as detailed on their support page. So I'll have that linked below as well for anyone who needs help here. But once you get this message, you're good to continue with this guide. When you're ready, we're gonna need to execute the command fastboot space flashing space unlock. And as soon as you press enter here, 
you should be told that this is an okay response. And then you'll see your phone change to a new bootloader unlock screen. Once you see this screen here, we're gonna use the power and volume buttons to navigate these menus. So we use the volume down button until the unlock the bootloader option is highlighted. And then we press the power button to select that option. You're gonna see your phone go black. It's gonna reboot to that nothing logo. You're gonna to be told that the bootloader is unlocked, but we're not going to touch anything. Nothing is going to factory reset our device. And then it's gonna boot us back to the Android activation screen. You may end up seeing the phone reboot a second time. That's perfectly normal. We're just gonna wait for these reboot cycles to complete. And then as mentioned, it's gonna bring us to the Android activation screen where we then need to set everything back up again. You will notice that this boot process takes longer than normal because again, everything on your phone has been erased and you're gonna to need to set everything back up again. After you have booted back into Android, you can again double check to make sure everything went through successfully by enabling developer mode again, diving back into the developer options menu and checking on that OEM unlocking toggle. If this toggle is grayed out, then that means the bootloader is unlocked and you did everything correctly. Unlocking the bootloader of Android smartphones and tablets is actually really easy as long as the OEM or wireless carrier does not block this from happening. Nothing does not seem to care about root or bootloader unlocks right now, so you're free to do this while continuing to keep your warranty intact. Just be sure that you know what you're doing because there are some root mods out there that may not be compatible and cause your phone to boot loop. So be aware of what you're doing, trust the people you're following guides from, and always be sure to back up your data ahead of time because you never know what's gonna happen. It's really the main reason why I started this YouTube channel so you can see exactly what I'm doing and trust that it's gonna work properly. Now, if you had any issues following this guide or if you just have a question about Android in general, then please feel free to use the comment section down below. And do not forget to give this video a like while also subscribing to the channel because we're getting really, really close to that 100,000 subscriber milestone.